I'll push you away Some days people don't see you They feel like you're in the way Today you feel as everyone hates Pointing their fingers looking at your mistakes You do good but they want great Hey everybody, this is Flippin' Bean coming at you from the Sunshine State. Forgive me for my setup at this moment. Uh, we didn't bring all my camera equipment, so this is going via iPad. As usual, I'm carrying my VECP, Moen Lobby Edition, Copper Backspacer, Copper LBS, you know, that, that whole Fisher Bang, uh, my Emerson Mini A100, uh, Pete Gray Frame Lock uh, conversion, first one ever frame locked from Pete Gray, like he hasn't frame locked anything besides that and then it, then all of a sudden orders start coming in. A um, little quick shout out, I'm going to cover this later but this is from uh, Laserwood, it's actually Cherry, Black Cherry, it's all it's my logo actually lasered into it, it's a iPhone cover. A little light reading, usual stuff, uh, the focus right here and uh, doing a little Swamp Ape. IPA and uh, obviously got to open it somehow it's a little bar key from Anzo anyways so let's get started what we're gonna be covering today something that's not often covered I mean they have been that they're starting to pick up a lot more specifically not just with the uh, the person who makes them but this in general this is a Matthew Martin let me get this one out of the way because this is in the focus this right here, Matthew Martin Titanium Pen. This kid is R.J. Martin's son. Let's throw that away right now. They you know that's that's, you know, yeah, he's his son. But this kid has a whole mad scientist, you know, feel himself. I mean, if you look at this, and if you didn't know, I mean, he has these in tie. Oh, sorry, he has these in full tie. He has these in uh, Mokume Gane uh, and. Freaking Timascus clips from uh, Chad Nichols. Uh, does the lathing himself. He does everything himself. This is the coolest thing I love about it. Alright, one, you can hardly see that seam. You, can you can't even feel the seam. That's how much the fit and finish on these are. This um, this thread pattern he has right here. Let me see if I can get this. Come on. Come on. Okay, I can't show it. All right, this thread pattern he has right here actually makes the cap like almost. It has it threads in the same way. It's it's like two and a half. I think like two and a quarter, three three and a quarter turns. One, two, three. Three turns. Very seamless, almost right there. If this wasn't actually two different materials, you wouldn't see the seam. Beautiful carbon fiber work. Uh, uses Fisher Space pens for the internals. You can also put. Um, see, I mean, it's real smooth writing, so you don't have to worry about it. Here's a cool thing, also, when he sends this out, he sends these with. This little wrench style tool that clips under your keychain. You don't have to have it on a keychain, but it helps. Basically, a little bit of a turn. What happens is the cap actually comes off. So it's a double threaded cap that he has to make. Then, you know, Fisher Space Pen, the little white standoff. That's it. It's all of one, two. See, cap screw clip that's three body four pen five standoff six head seven seven pieces you want to count the titanium screw you know screw uh, wrench and the way he achieves this actually is there are two flattened ver there's two flattened little divots see that little that looks like a nail nick almost let's see if the light can catch that see it that little flat surface is where your wrench actually clicks in. Give it a nice little turn to tighten it down. And what you have is honestly, 
I've taken this on a, pen, a plane. Now, a lot of people told, told me I was kind of crazy for thinking about doing that, but this, yes, in its same aspect, isn't as menacing as this. Not to say that the hinderer is not a menacing, it's not technically a menacing pen, but TSAs will know, okay, it's got a sharp point. That's why some guys will flatten theirs out or they'll buy an extra, the flattened cap in the back so they're not getting these jacked. You know, you're paying 60 bucks for a, a pen, you're not having to worry about TSAs taking them away. So, I mean, plus this is aluminum. As much as I love the aluminum one, I'd rather have a copper one. I gave away my brass one. Um, I don't regret it, but I gave away my brass one a long time ago. So, but I mean, this thing stuck by me. When I saw Matthew Martin's. I was really, really thoroughly impressed. Uh, there's only a couple pens out there that I've been actually looking into. Um, obviously, the tie bolt by Fallon Holder, everybody you know loves that one. Um, the uh, there's another couple of that coming out, but this is the focus today, and this is work. Now I've seen these in different ways. Though. I've seen people send them off to um, Esteban at Tie Survival and get them anodized and you know just done beautifully done. Um, so especially the all tie ones because now he has an all he actually puts a tie tube on here sands it down makes it all pretty and it looks all entirely one piece of tie uh, I mean now he also has a uh, clicking version uh, these are 135 139 dependent on the dealer but uh, the clicky versions I think it's like 75 85 bucks so I mean if you're not looking to a have to worry about a screw cap and keeping it on there you have the ability to go to some of these dealers and uh, get the clicky version. Now this clip, honestly, very comfortable. It, granted, as short as it is, it's a stubby clip. I don't have to worry about it popping out of my pocket. I mean, that, that has some spring to it, some, you know, and it's it's it, perfect purchase. It's got enough of a bend at the top to add for the for thicker welts where the uh, seam is to the top of the pocket so you're not going to worry about that. Um, it complements greatly plus it doesn't when I write it in the pocket I don't have to worry about it scratching up my knives and I don't have to worry about my knives scratching up this. Um, yeah there's some usual wear into it but I mean just great work and I'm thoroughly impressed especially coming from you know, some kid that is just up and coming in so many different ways. Matthew Martin he did he did a beautiful job, and uh, you know that's what I got. So uh, people, check them out. Tell them you know if you want one. Um, I think House Knife Shop has them. Uh, Monkey's Edge, uh, and I think Knife Knife Art has or Blade Art has them. So check there as well. If not, you know, try to contact Matthew personally. Uh, his website. Uh, to his dad I'll, uh, I'll link you up there you can contact him and he will you know he'll point you the direction to where to get these beauties plus it's 135 it's it's a little more executive if you will I mean the the executive pen from I mean this and the only other pen I would get for executive carry for like a suit carry that this actually kind of wows people I took this on a um I took this on a interview and the guy's like, hey, can you sign this paper real quick? I said, yeah. And he started having a pen. And just like anywhere you're told, if you're going to interview, bring a pen. Brought the pen, whipped it out. The guy was like, holy crap, I'm thoroughly impressed. Tell me about your pen. We got into it and, you know, it might have struck up a, a better chord with the, uh, you know, empl future employer possibly. But, you know, we'll get to that later. Um, so, like I said, man, look at this beautiful weave in this carbon fiber and it just complements the lines of this and the beautiful thing about this is that all right I get this little bump right here from writing with pen a lot and this little smooth just this little smooth part right here he took care into realizing this is where your grips gonna be and that's that part that's gonna rest on your hand so when you're writing it actually helps me write in a smoother line so look them up I'll put the links below and uh, yeah Matthew Martin you know you're just rocking out of the park thanks man uh, I'm so glad to get this done. Uh, get this, and so glad to be able to do this review. Um, yeah, so everybody, you know, stay safe, and uh, I'm out.